Hello, my dear students. In today's lecture, we have to start unit number two, that is modeling and representation of control systems. So be before that, let us revise what we have seen in last lecture. In last lecture, we have revised the concepts in the first lecture that we have studied. After that, we have seen. one example of open loop system control system and closed loop control system after that we have seen different requirements of control system or good control system then we have seen classification of a control system that is linear control system non linear control system it may be time varying control system or time invariant control system there are number of classifications are there but we have seen only two which are important for us so if time permits us we will see another classification also no problem so in time varying control system and time invariant control system we have seen one one examples okay so after that we have seen basics of a laplace transform what is the use of laplace transform why we have to use laplace transform after that we have seen standard laplace transform equations or formulas we can say and now we have to start with unit number 2 which is named as modeling and representation of a control system so before studying modeling what do we mean by modeling that we have to see okay so for that purpose we have to see one simple resistive circuit okay suppose aapko ye bataya gaya hai ki ek simple resistive circuit le lo aur uske liye jo bhi components lag lag Suppose you have given one simple resistive circuit. So, what do you mean by modeling of this simple resistive circuit? Okay. So, there are two types of modeling. One is called as physical modeling, and the another is based upon that physical modeling. Next part is mathematical modeling. So, what do you mean by physical modeling? So, physical modeling is nothing but connecting the components. Okay. In a physical manner. okay suppose suppose you have told to design one resistive circuit then what you will do you will take one power supply you will take resistors and you will take wires and you will interconnect them okay so this is called as a physical modeling so what do you mean by mathematical modeling now ye circuit to aapne design kar diya physical modeling aapne kar di lekin iske baad jo bhi is in isme jo internal parameters hai फॉर एग्जाम्पल हियर वी कैन कंसिडर द करंट इज इंटरनल पैरामीटर ओके एंड सपोज दिस वोल्टेज इज इनपुट एंड करंट इज अ आउटपुट तो ये जो करंट है वो किस किस पैरामीटर पर डिफेंड है और उसके लिए कौन सा इक्वेशन इस सर्किट के हिसाब से आ सकता है सो इन शॉर्ट आई कैन से दैट वी हैव टू राइट डाउन और वी हैव टू शो द मैथमेटिकल रिलेशन इन बिटवीन दिस करंट एंड इन दिस वोल्टेज और in this input and in this output and in this it may contain different equations and that is called as a mathematical modeling of any system okay so yahan par jo current aapko mil raha hai wo kiske hisab se mil raha hai jo bhi iski value hai uske hisab se mil raha hai jo bhi voltage hai uske hisab se mil raha hai to koi to equation hoga isme okay to hame current calculate karne ke liye kya karna chahiye idhar ye jo two resistors hai wo series mein connect karna chahiye और जो भी फॉर्मूला है v इज इक्वल टू आई इन टू आर सो आई इज इक्वल टू वॉट वी डिवाइडेड बाय आर ओके सो सच अ मैथमेटिकल इक्वेशन वी हैव टू राइट एंड दैट मैथमेटिकल इक्वेशन इज कॉल्ड एज मैथमेटिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन और मैथमेटिकल मॉडलिंग ऑफ दिस सिस्टम ओके सो इन शॉर्ट द फिजिकल मॉडलिंग इज नथिंग बट टेकिंग द कॉम्पोनेंट्स एंड कनेक्टेड एज पर द डिजाइन मैनर एंड वॉट इज द मैथमेटिकल मॉडलिंग और मैथमेटिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन जस्ट डिराइव द इक्वेशन and just 
uh, write down the input and output relations in mathematical way that is nothing but a mathematical model thing okay so i think now what do you mean by modeling that that is clear to you okay so modeling means what the control system can be represented with a set of a mathematical equation known as mathematical model these models are useful for analysis and design of a control system okay suppose if you want to design any control system the first part will be a physical modeling second part will be the analysis of that modeling what do you mean by analysis analysis of a control system means finding the output when we know the input and mathematical model okay so if you see this example consider this as a control system or a simple concept system in this this is the input okay and suppose voltage is input and current is output and the mathematical equation is nothing but mathematical model so analysis of a control system means finding the output when we know the input and mathematical model so in this example we can easily calculate the current when we know the equation for this current and when we we know the input values of the resistors and voltages we can say okay so these models are useful for analysis and design of control system ओके तो डिजाइन करने के लिए पहले तो आपको फिजिकल मॉडलिंग करना चाहिए उस सिस्टम का और बेस्ड अपॉन दैट फिजिकल मॉडलिंग आपको क्या करना चाहिए उसका मैथमेटिकल एनालिसिस करना चाहिए मैथमेटिकल मॉडल से एनालिसिस करना चाहिए और उसके बाद ही आप जो भी डिजाइन है कंट्रोल सिस्टम का वो कर सकते हैं सो दैट्स वाई द मॉडलिंग इज अगेन इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्ट वाइल डिजाइनिंग एनी कंट्रोल सिस्टम ओके सो दिस इज कॉल्ड एज अ मॉडलिंग सो we have to see types of modeling so this following mathematical models are generally used the first one is differential equation model second one is transfer function model and third is state space model so we have to see this one by one so what do you mean by differential equation model i think you may have studied this differential equations in mathematics in first year itself okay so differential equation model is a time domain mathematical model of a any system or a control system okay so there are certain steps that we have to follow for a differential equation model so these are the steps given here the first uh, first is apply basic laws to the given control system jo bhi laws honge wo hame apply karna chahiye suppose we are designing uh, one electrical control system then we have to apply different laws like kvl kcl okay so this we will see in next example don't worry get the differential equation in terms of input and output by eliminating the intermediate variables jo bhi equation se hum reduce kar sakte hai wo hame reduce karna chahiye okay. so let's take one example here so if you see this example we have to see the rlc circuit here if you see this rlc circuit this r l and c or resistor inductor and capacitor are connected in series and suppose here we are applying the inputs and here sorry here we have to take the output okay so what is differential equation for this okay so before applying the differential equation let us apply kirchhoff's voltage law to this one so what is the kirchhoff's voltage law kirchhoff's voltage law states that the applied input voltage is nothing but addition of the voltage drop across each components okay this is simple statement of a kirchhoff's voltage law so here this is the input voltage and that input voltage will be the drop across this resistor what do you mean by drop the uh, voltage across any component is called as a drop okay so this voltage our vi will be equal to the voltage across resistor plus voltage across inductor plus voltage across capacitor okay means what the vi will be equal to drop across r drop plus drop across l plus drop across c here again we have to consider one important thing is that voltage across capacitor is nothing but your output voltage because we are measuring output in between these points therefore here 
measuring the output in between these points is nothing but a output voltage of a capacitor that you have to keep in mind okay so let's see the equation so vi is equal to what is voltage across resistor voltage across resistor is nothing but current flowing through that resistor into value of the resistor that is ri okay plus what is voltage across this inductor that is l di by dt i think you know this plus voltage across capacitor here we can write voltage in terms of a voltage in terms of a equation of a capacitor but for sake of simplicity voltage across capacitor is nothing but v out so directly i have written here v out okay so vi is equal to ri plus l di divided by dt plus v out now substitute the current passing through the capacitor okay so what do you mean by current passing through the capacitor that I, that is given by the equation c d v out by dt okay i is equal to c d v out by dt in above equation okay so here if you replace the value of i with this equation you will get vi is equal to okay rc d v out by dt plus l c d square v out by dt square plus v out okay now if you reduce this equation you will get the equation like this okay so you can solve this equation and you can check the answer no problem so what we have taken here common we have taken l c as a common here okay so if you take l c common from these terms we will get this equation and the above equation is a second order differential equation so what do you mean by this order this we will see in while studying a transfer function okay or after studying the transfer function so this is called as a differential equation model but if you see uh, this is a little bit complicated so that's why we are generally using laplace transform approach for solving the equations of a control system that we will see in next sections okay so this is called as a differential equation model of a given system okay so you can, you can uh, derive any uh, derive for any circuit or any control system uh, types like a mechanical electrical or any other systems okay so for the sake of example we have taken this electrical example okay now let us see what do you mean by transfer function because uh, we have seen one example related with this differential equation model if time permits us we will see uh, uh, more number of examples related to, to this one but we are interested more in this one that is transfer function model that we have to see okay so differential equation se kaise equations hum likh sakte hain ये हमने अभी देखा है अब हम देखेंगे वॉट डू यू मीन बाय ट्रांसफर फंक्शन ओके सो द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन इनपुट एंड आउटपुट ऑफ अ सिस्टम इज गिवन बाय ट्रांसफर फंक्शन ओके सो व्हाट इज दिस ट्रांसफर फंक्शन बेसिकली द रेशियो ऑफ लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ द आउटपुट टू द लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ द इनपुट अंडर अजम्पन ऑफ अ जीरो इनिशियल कंडीशन इज डिफाइंड एज ट्रांसफर फंक्शन सो जीरो इनिशियल कंडीशन क्या होते हैं वो हम बाद में देखेंगे लेकिन हमें सिर्फ इतना यहाँ अंडरस्टैंड करना है कि ट्रांसफॉर्म फंक्शन इज नथिंग बट रेशियो ऑफ लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ द आउटपुट टू द लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ द इनपुट ओके सो लेट इस सी मैथमेटिकल इक्वेशन ऑफ अ ट्रांसफर फंक्शन सपोज दिस इज वन सिस्टम ओके सो दिस इज कॉल्ड एज इनपुट ऑफ अ सिस्टम दैट इज rt it is in time domain okay output of a system is given by ct so ct is output here and gt is called as a system function okay sometime it is called as a gain also okay so here rt is uh, given as a input this is a system function and this is a called as a ct and this is in time domain function okay but if you take laplace transform of this rt it will become rs okay so here the, it is given here the laplace transform of rt is rs 
Just like this, if you take a Laplace transform of a GT, it is a GS, and if you take a Laplace transform of a CT, is a CS. Okay. तो पहले तो जो भी time domain में system थी, उसको हम उसको हमने Laplace के domain में convert कर दिया with the help of Laplace transform. Okay. So we have got this capital R S, capital G S, and capital C S. So this R S is input, C S is output, and G S is a system function. So by definition of a transfer function, what do we mean by transfer function? Transfer function G S for above system is given by Laplace of output or Laplace transform of output divided by Laplace transform of a input. Okay. So G S is equal to C S divided by R S. So G S is called as a transfer function and this is given by C S by R S. Okay. So this is called as a transfer function. Let us see transfer function of a closed loop system. So uh, we have seen uh, this basic block diagram. Uh, we can consider this as an open loop system also because there is no any feedback. So this is a transfer function of of an open loop system. We can say because there is no feedback. So we can say that a transfer function of an open loop system can be given by G S is equal to C S by R S. Okay. Now we have to see transfer function of a closed loop. System. Okay. So whatever the transfer function that we have seen already, uh, that is transfer function of a open loop control system. We can say because there is no any feedback. Uh, okay. So if you see, this is the input, this is output, and there is no any feedback. So that's why this is open loop system, and this is the transfer function of open loop system. That is G S is equal to C S by R S. Now if you C the transfer function of a closed loop system uh, that is derived here. So before that, just see this diagram. If you see this, uh, here is uh, input R S. Then there is error signal, which is uh, difference between R S and B S. And this is the system function G S, and this is the output that is C S. Okay. Now if you see here the output. feedback is taken here and it is given to this block which is feedback uh, element we can say and the output of this feedback element or feedback network we can say is a bs and that is given to this negative of the adder okay if you see this adder or the summing point here negative is given so that's why this is a negative feedback system or minus feedback system we can say and suppose if you change this sign to plus this is called as positive feedback system okay but most of the systems are negative feedback or uh, giving a negative feedback so let us see the transfer function of this system now es is rs minus bs that we know that is called as error signal and that is given to the system function that is gs okay now error is given by es is equal to rs minus bs so what do you, what is rs rs is equal to es plus bs okay so that is equation number 1 okay now what is the gain of the feedback network the gain of a feedback network is hs and hs is equal to what bs divided by cs okay if you see this quantity this will be the multiplication of this and this okay so therefore bs is equal to hs into cs and that is equation number 2 so in this system the gain is given by gs is equal to cs divided by es because here input is not rs and that is a es or error signal so that is that's why gs is equal to es divided by sorry gs is equal to cs divided by es so what is a cs cs is equal to now gs into es ye jo quantity to ye hai wo humne is side liye hai so this is the equation number 3 now substitute value of es from equation 1 to equation 3 so equation 1 is given here so what we have to do here the value of equation uh, value of es from equation 1 we have to take and we have to place this into equation number 3 so es ki value idhar hai rs minus bs so that we have to put in this one okay so this equation becomes cs is equal to gs into rs in bracket rs minus bs 
so if you multiply this gs inside you will get cs is equal to gs rs minus gs bs now substitute value of a bs from equation 2 to equation 4 so this is value of a bs that is hscs that we have to put in this equation so this bs should be replaced with hs into cs so that we have replaced here okay so you can solve this again this is very simple and after solving this all we get transfer function which is nothing but a lt of output to the lt of input that is cs upon rs is equal to gs divided by 1 plus gs into hs so this is the transfer function of a simple closed system closed loop system that is mentioned here okay so this is called as a transfer function of a closed loop system okay so this equation we have got that is gs divided by 1 plus gs into hs okay so there is one homework for you if this is a positive feedback okay so error signal kya aega either res plus it will be res plus bs okay now for this positive feedback closed loop system you have to derive the transfer function okay so i will ask in next lecture randomly so be prepared okay so let us see laplace transform of some basic passive elements so we know passive components electronic components or electrical components these are the famous passive electrical components resistor inductor and capacitor okay so laplace transform can be used independently on a different circuit elements and then the circuit can be solved entirely in s domain which is much easier that we have seen but for that we must know the direct laplace transform of this one rlc so it will become easier for us to solve any different equations or uh, we can derive any transfer function much easily so let's take a look at some circuit elements like a resistor inductor or capacitor so what is laplace transform of a resistor resistor are time and frequency invariant okay so what do you mean by time and frequency invariant so time or frequency ka koi bhi us par affect nahi hota uska output constant hota hai so therefore the transform of a resistor is the same as the resistance of the resistor okay so the laplace transform of a resistor is given by r s now if you see capacitor or laplace transform of a capacitor we must know the equation in a time domain okay so let us look at the relationship between voltage current and capacitance in a time domain so it in a time domain that's why t is given here so it is equal to c dvt by dt okay solving for voltage we get the following integral here that is vt is equal to 1 upon c integration or uh, integration of it into dt okay so this is from 0 to infinity then transforming this equation into laplace domain we get the following that is vs is equal to 1 upon c 1 into 1 upon s into is okay so here again if you solve the ratio for the ratio vs by is we get the following that is vs by s is equal to 1 upon sc so therefore uh, the laplace transform of a capacitor is directly we can say it is 1 upon sc okay and similarly again if you see the laplace transform of inductor for the same we must know the relationship between voltage current and inductance in a time domain and that is given by vt is equal to l di by dit by dt so putting this into the laplace domain we we get formula like this vs is equal to sl is and solving for our ratio that is vs by res that is sl okay so what is the laplace transform of inductor that is sl so this is now much much easier for us to put this value in uh, the circuit directly and we can solve the equations so let us 
revise this Laplace transform upper resistor is RS Laplace transform upper capacitor is 1 upon SC and last is Laplace transform upper inductor is SL ok so this is all about the Laplace transform upper some passive element which will which we will require for solving the equations ok now let us solve the different equa different circuits electrical circuits so let us find transfer function of rc and rlc electrical circuits ok the, so take the simple example here i have taken one simple example find the transfer function of a given rc network rc network means what in this cir circuit resistor and capacitor will be there ok so if you see here input voltage is given that is vit it is in time domain resistor is connected here and capacitor is connected here like this one so voltage output voltage nothing but uh, the voltage across capacitor like this and the current will flow like this that is it okay so here we have to apply the kvl for the input loop when we apply the kvl to the input loop uh, we will get equation like this vit is equal to rit plus 1 upon c into integration of it into dt okay so the like taking laplace transform of above equation we get now we have seen uh, the time domain is converted into s domain so that's why it will become vis will become v, uh, vit will become vis so if you see laplace transform of a resistor and we will get ris here so the laplace transform of capacitor is given directly as a 1 upon sc into is and this is our equation number one okay so if you see this equation of output loop again we have to apply the kvl for the output so output voltage v out t is nothing but the voltage measure across this point and this point and if you measure if you see the voltage across this point and this point it is nothing but the voltage across the capacitor and that is v out, v out t is equal to 1 upon c again uh, this equation will be there ok so I am not repeating this one and taking Laplace transform of above equation again we will get VOS is equal to 1 upon SC into IS ok and what is IS here now SC into VOS so from equation number 1 from this equation we get VIS is equal to IS into in bracket r plus 1 upon sc okay and from this equation 3 and 4 okay we get this equation that is vis is equal to vos into sc into in bracket r plus 1 upon sc so what do you mean by transfer function transfer function is nothing but lt of output divided by lt of input so vot is the output and what is the lt of output VOT that is VOS VIT is input and what is LT or Laplace transform of VIT is VIS ok so if you take this VIS here and if you take this equation to this side this will become the transfer function of this RC network so let us see transfer function that is GS is equal to v out upon v o VOS divided by VIS which is equal to 1 upon SC into in bracket r plus 1 upon sc and if you solve this you will get this equation that is 1 upon scr plus 1 ok so this is the transfer function or a gs and that is directly written in place of a gs ok so now this is your system function or a transfer function this is input and this is output so this whole system or this whole circuit is replaced by this block ok so this is called as a transfer function model ok so similarly if you see the transfer function of a RLC network we have to connect one inductor here to previous circuit and it will become a RLC circuit I think now you can solve this ok here VIT is applied 
this is R this is inductor and this is capacitor okay and if you apply the KVL to the input you will get this equation that is VIT is equal to drop across this resistor drop across this resistor and drop across uh, sorry drop across this inductor plus drop across this capacitor okay so here directly Laplace transform forms are written and after that the equation is solved okay so if you see the transform function of RLC network just solve this at a home okay uh, you can pause the video and you can solve no problem and after that please check you are getting this answer or not that is 1 divided by s square lc plus scr plus 1 so this is the transfer function of a rlc network okay so just like this we can find the transfer function of different types of a mechanical control systems hydraulic hydraulic control systems or electrical control systems like this that we have seen the examples like this one okay so this is all about the transfer function model okay so what we have seen in a today's lecture just revise that we have seen what do you mean by modeling okay what do you mean by modeling what do you mean by physical modeling mathematical modeling why it is important and then we have seen simple differential equation model of any circuit and after that we have seen what do you mean by transfer function then we have seen transfer function of open loop system and closed loop system and after that we have seen the Laplace transform of a passive elements like RLC and we can put this directly into uh, the circuits like RC and RLC network and we can find the transfer function so I have solved this one that's transfer function of RC network and you can solve this that is transfer function of RLC network and just check that you are getting this answer okay then you are correct okay so these all things we have seen in this lecture from next lecture we will start with order of a system that is what is the meaning of order and after that we will see we, uh, we have to see uh, the block diagram reduction okay so today we have to stop here just revise the previous concept if you have any query you can contact me directly okay thank you very much we will meet in next lecture thank you